Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing something and discussing a technique with you um, that I've never discussed with you before. It's something very important for you and I and for anyone that's looking to rank websites or that do rank websites inside of Google. Um, so what we're going to be discussing today, guys, is this section here, which we call the zero rank. Um, so it's a special area um, and Google doesn't show a zero rank for every keyword. Um, in this video, we're going to be discussing what kind of keywords they show it for, um, how you can get your website found or ranking in a zero rank area, um, and you know what we know about the zero rank. Um, and I'm going to be sharing it with you free of charge. I've got nothing to sell. I'm not promoting anything in this video as well. In fact, guys, I was going to um, share this method with you about one and a half months ago before I stepped away from my desk. So anyway, um, when it comes to the zero rank, guys, and this is the zero rank here. Now, let me give you a little bit of history to find out um, or to explain how we actually came um, to understand more about the zero rank. Um, and hopefully it will also you know, keep you guys um, fully aware on what's going on as well. So um, we have a new tool, guys. Um, it's not going to be available for sale. It's only going to be available um, part of our, our our inner circle group. Um, so um, I'll probably be emailing you about the inner circle group in a couple of weeks time. OK, um, but we're never going to be selling this as a standalone, guys. But what this does, it goes over to Google and it types in your keyword and then see these people also ask a section down here um, it will expand them and it will scrape the keyword or will scrape the question the answer and the url and every time it actually expands any one of these guys as you can see more and more questions are being listed and shown towards the bottom um, so the tool goes out there and it gets all of these questions and answers for you um, and it displays them here for you like this so we didn't we didn't want for SEO these were the questions that Google gave these were the answers that Google gave of course we can expand the answers as well but I've kept them nice and narrow so we can fit everything on here and then we have the source as well so what we can do from here guys just to give you an example okay I can filter these now A to Z for example um, and I can see now that for example this website here HubSpot has got the same FAQ page ranking um, or being selected by Google for three different questions. And each one of the questions has three different answers. Okay, I can have a look down here as well, guys. Moz, for example. Okay, the same Moz on page SEO is ranking four times um, for four different questions, but this time the answer is exactly the same. It's identical for each one. Okay, and then you've got another one for offsite optimization on Moz, exactly the same answer, two different questions. Okay, it doesn't really tell us much, but what we can do from here is we can now visit, we can have a look at the question, we can look at the answer, and we can now visit this website and see how they're optimizing, if they're placing any tags around these questions, if they're adding any styles, if they're putting any schema markup around these questions as well, or these answers. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to come to a better conclusion as to how Google is picking these answers. In fact, guys, our tool's not fully ready yet. What our tool's going to do is going to have a section down here called tags, and it's going to go ahead and visit each one of these website URLs, and it's going to look for the question, for the answer, and then underneath the tag section, it's going to tell you if it's been wrapped around with a heading tags if so what heading tag if it's been wrapped around with like say bold or italic or paragraph um, tags or maybe unordered list tags and then you're going to be able to see and hopefully we're going to be able to pick a pattern uh, to see what kind of tags google prefers um, to look at when choosing what answers or what websites to get the answers from and if there is a certain tag um, that we can use to hopefully gain these preferential rankings, guys, then we can start using them on our own um, sites as well, guys, to make sure that we can get these. OK, but one thing that I want to mention here as well, guys, um, is uh, we've actually got a beta group down here. Um, now, this beta testers group, guys, um, it's only got about 10 of us in there. We send tools to our beta testers. Um, they're all SEO professionals or they're very proficient with SEO. Um, they help us test um, the actual um, tools. Um, and so they've got a bunch of tools that you guys don't even know about um, because we haven't released them or we're not looking to release them or they're, all, or they're going to be included in part of our inner circle package. So anyway, I shared this article with them a couple of well, a few a couple of weeks ago, um, and it's an article about Google confirming that they now have a new frequently asked questions 
uh, questions and answers and how to's section or snippets for search results. Okay, and schema also include how to Q&A and FAQ page markup. Okay, so this is a potential way for us to show and style our content inside of Google if they pick up on our content, guys. So come along and have a look at this, guys. Um, so we need to do our own reverse engineering and at the same time, keep up to date with updates as well, guys. Okay, and I've actually sh shared some snippets down here um, that could potentially be used um, if we wanna be shown up for the FAQ question section inside of Google. Okay, but something else that I want to bring you, well, I want to bring you back to the zero rank section down here, guys. So one thing that we found, guys, is almost every single, well, you know what, I haven't found a single one that hasn't worked like this yet. But every single one of these people also asked areas, guys, when you search these inside of Google, then they all have a zero rank box. So let me show you this one here. All right, did I copy that? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, let's go over to Google. And I'm going to paste that in here. And as you can see, guys, we've got a zero rank box there as well. Let's do this one here. Okay. Oops. Okay. And as you can see, we've got a zero rank box again. So let's do this one again, guys. Okay. And, uh, Okay, as you can see, we've got a zero rank box again, guys, which is absolutely brilliant. In fact, I can take any one of these from here, guys. Um, for example, I can put it inside of Google um, and you'll notice that every single one of them has got a zero rank. And the reason every single one of them has got a zero rank, guys, um, is because they it's, it's Google is telling us that you know what these are FAQs we're also doing zero ranks for them you can see the zero ranks down here as well guys so I just wanted to bring this to your attention guys um, it's really cool it's something that we've been working on guys it's something that you know I wanted you guys to be aware of maybe about one and a half months ago um, and um, yeah so I really hope you guys can take something away from